another day another story science is learning more and more about the versatility of form in dinosaurs with each great find in china the americas antarctica and elsewhere welcome to tabo eminent channel during their heyday in the triassic jurassic and cretaceous periods dinosaurs evolved to fill niches in most ecosystems some were large some were small, some walked on land, some were amphibious, and some dinosaurs even possessed the ability to fly. But did they have real honest to goodness feathers? Recent research shows that they did, but this isn't the end of the story. Yes, evidence suggests that many dinosaurs had feathers. The idea that some dinosaurs had feathers was initially met with skepticism, as the popular image of dinosaurs was often portrayed with scales. However, the discovery of well-preserved fossils in the late 20th and early 21st centuries has provided strong evidence for the presence of feathers in certain dinosaur species. Feathered dinosaur fossils have been found predominantly in the theropod group which includes famous dinosaurs like Velociraptors and Tyrannosaurus rex. Fossils from China, in particular, have revealed a variety of feathered dinosaurs from different time periods. Feathers in dinosaurs likely served various purposes, including insulation, display, and potentially aiding in aerodynamics. Not all dinosaurs had feathers, as some species likely had scales or a combination of scales and feathers. The presence of feathers in dinosaurs has significantly altered our understanding of their appearance and behavior. The story of discovering feathers on dinosaurs is a fascinating journey that has reshaped our understanding of these ancient creatures. One of the key breakthroughs in this field occurred in the 1990s in Liaoning Province, China, where a series of remarkable fossils were unearthed from ancient lake deposits. These fossils, dating back to the late Jurassic and early Cretaceous periods, provided unprecedented insight into the appearance of dinosaurs. One of the earliest and most significant finds was that of Cynosauropteryx, a small theropod dinosaur. Discovered in 1996, Cynosauropteryx exhibited a covering of primitive, filament-like structures that paleontologists interpreted as proto-feathers. This was a groundbreaking revelation because it challenged the traditional image of scaly dinosaurs, suggesting that at least some theropods were adorned with feathers. Subsequent discoveries in the same region revealed a diverse array of feathered dinosaurs, including larger theropods like Velociraptor and the famous Tyrannosaurus rex. The feathers found on these dinosaurs ranged from simple filaments to more complex structures resembling modern bird feathers. Some species even displayed feathers on their arms, forming wing-like structures. The implications of these findings were profound. Feathers were not limited to small, bird-like dinosaurs, they extended to larger and more iconic members of the dinosaur family. The idea that some dinosaurs were covered in feathers challenged preconceived notions about their appearance and behavior. The realization that feathers likely had multiple functions, such as insulation and display, added complexity to our understanding of dinosaur biology. As technology advanced, Researchers also began to use new imaging techniques and analysis methods to study fossils, providing even more details about the presence and structure of feathers on dinosaurs. The ongoing discoveries and research in this field continue to shape our understanding of the incredible diversity of dinosaurs and the evolution of feathers in the broader context of the dinosaur family tree. For many years science has known that the only remaining descendants of the dinosaur lineage are the birds. So, if anyone asks you whether dinosaurs really died out at the end of the Cretaceous, you can point out the window at our feathered friends. One of the most surprising developments in paleontology in recent years has been the discovery that, like birds, dinosaurs, many dinosaurs, in fact, possessed feathers. It stands to reason that if birds have them, they must have evolved in something older, right? Let's take a quick look at feather design. The typical feather in modern birds consists of a central shaft, 
ruches, with serial paired branches, barbs, forming a flattened, usually curved surface, the vein. The barbs branch into barbules, and the barbules of adjacent barbs are attached to one another by hooks, stiffening the vein. In many birds some or all of the feathers lack the barbules or hooks, and the plumage has a loose hair-like appearance. The precursors of bird feathers were simple, straight, dense, filamentous structures made mostly of keratin. These eventually evolved into branched, then downy, structures in several stalked forms that soon disappeared. Over time, this branched condition resolved itself into a central stalk with veins on either side, and these veins later evolved into barbs. The first dinosaur fossils with structures that could be considered feathers were found in the 1990s. Other discoveries followed. By 2011 some studies were even suggesting that all dinosaurs had some type of feathery covering on at least some parts of their bodies, in much the same way that all mammals have hair but not all mammals are hairy. Even though the first dinosaurs are thought to have emerged some 245 million years ago, dinosaurs with feathers have been dated to only 180 million years ago. Yet, the story does not end there. Feathers, it seems, did not originate with the dinosaurs. According to a recent study, they may have evolved in another group. The pterosaurs, a closely related but separate group of ruling reptiles, or archosaurs, a group that, incidentally, also includes birds and crocodiles, also had feathers. A study of pterosaur fossils published in 2019 described the presence of branching feather-like structures called pycnofibers in pterosaur fossils dating to about 160 million years ago. These feathers appeared in tufts, they were not simple and straight, which suggests that the origin of feathers predated both the pterosaurs and the dinosaurs and occurred in a common ancestor some 250 million years old or older. So, did dinosaurs have feathers? They did, and older forms of life had them too. The story of feathered dinosaurs continues to unfold with each new discovery, offering deeper insights into the evolution of these fascinating creatures. One of the significant developments in this narrative involves the identification of specific feather types and their potential functions on different dinosaur species. In Liaoning Province, China, Researchers unearthed fossils of a dinosaur called Microraptor, a small, feathered dinosaur with impressive wings on both its arms and legs. The wings were not just simple filaments but rather complex feathers with a structure remarkably similar to modern bird feathers. This finding suggested that Microraptor could glide or possibly even achieve powered flight, challenging the notion that flight evolved exclusively in birds. Further discoveries expanded the roster of feathered dinosaurs. Anchiornis, another feathered dinosaur from China, featured intricate feathers on its limbs and tail. The detailed preservation of these feathers allowed scientists to study their color patterns, leading to the realization that some dinosaurs exhibited iridescence, much like modern birds. The revelation that some dinosaurs had colorful feathers prompted researchers to explore the possibility of elaborate displays for communication and mate attraction. Fossil evidence of large, feathered dinosaur tail fans, resembling those of modern peacocks, supported the idea that feathers played a crucial role in social interactions and courtship rituals. As paleontologists continued to explore diverse regions, they found feathered dinosaur fossils outside of China, further corroborating the widespread distribution of feathers among different dinosaur groups. Fossils from places like Canada and Germany provided additional examples of feathered theropods, demonstrating that feathered adaptations were not limited to a specific geographic area or time period. The ongoing discoveries and research have also led to the recognition that feathers likely had various functions depending on the species. While some dinosaurs might have used feathers for insulation, others may have employed them for display, camouflage, or even aerodynamics.
The story of feathered dinosaurs exemplifies the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry, as new findings continually refine and expand our understanding of the prehistoric world and the remarkable adaptations of these ancient creatures. As the exploration of feathered dinosaurs continued, researchers ventured beyond the well-known species like Velociraptor and Tyrannosaurus rex, uncovering surprising details about the extent and diversity of feathers among various dinosaur groups. One notable discovery came from the Yixin Formation in China, where fossils of Li and Ambopteryx were found. These small, Feathered dinosaurs belonged to a group known as Scansoriopterygids, and they exhibited an unexpected feature, membranous wings. Instead of feathers forming traditional flight surfaces, these dinosaurs had a membrane stretched between elongated fingers, reminiscent of the wing structure seen in bats. The presence of such diverse wing structures in different dinosaur lineages hinted at the complexity of feather evolution and adaptation to various ecological niches. In addition to membranous wings, researchers found evidence of proto-feathers or simpler filament-like structures on different dinosaur species. Some theropods, like the ostrich mimic dinosaur Caudipteryx, showcased feathers that appeared more akin to downy fuzz than the flight feathers seen in birds. This suggested that feathers might have served different purposes, such as insulation, even in non-avian dinosaurs. The study of feathered dinosaurs also raised questions about the timeline of feather evolution. Fossils of early relatives of dinosaurs, such as the proterosaurs, suggested that filamentous structures might have predated true feathers. This led scientists to hypothesize that feathers could have initially served non-flight functions, such as temperature regulation or display, before evolving into more complex structures associated with powered flight. Outside of the theropod group, researchers discovered evidence of feathers in non-ethician dinosaurs. For example, Kulinda Daramius. A small herbivorous dinosaur from Siberia displayed both scales and feathers, challenging the traditional view that feathers were exclusive to the theropod lineage. The ongoing exploration of diverse fossil deposits worldwide continues to enrich the narrative of feathered dinosaurs. As technology improves, allowing for more detailed analyses of fossilized soft tissues, researchers hope to uncover even more secrets about the appearance behavior, and ecological roles of these remarkable creatures from the distant past. The story of feathered dinosaurs is a testament to the ever-evolving nature of paleontological research and our evolving understanding of Earth's ancient ecosystems. As the quest to understand feathered dinosaurs unfolded, paleontologists began to delve deeper into the microscopic details of fossilized feathers. The study of melanosomes, tiny pigment-containing structures within feathers, opened a new chapter in reconstructing the coloration of these ancient creatures. Scientists discovered that by examining the shape and distribution of melanosomes, they could make educated guesses about the colors of feathers in dinosaurs. For example, melanosomes in some feathered dinosaur fossils were similar to those found in modern birds with iridescent plumage, suggesting that certain dinosaurs boasted dazzling and iridescent displays, much like their avian descendants. One groundbreaking discovery in this realm was the find of a dinosaur named Anchionis from China. Fossilized melanosomes revealed that Anchionis likely had a dark body with light-colored feathered limbs providing scientists with a glimpse into the intricate color patterns of these ancient creatures. The study of melanosomes also allowed scientists to propose the existence of countershading in some dinosaurs. Countershading is a coloration pattern where the upper side of an animal is darker than the lower side, helping to reduce shadows and make the creature appear flatter. This adaptive strategy is common in many modern animals, and its potential presence in some feathered dinosaurs added another layer of complexity to our understanding of their ecology and behavior. Beyond coloration, the discovery of feathered dinosaurs challenged previous notions about flight. 
while many feathered dinosaurs were small and likely capable of powered flight, larger dinosaurs like the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex also exhibited evidence of feathers, albeit smaller and likely for insulation rather than flight. This led to intriguing questions about the evolution of flight feathers and whether their initial function was for insulation or display before being co-opted for flight. The story of feathered dinosaurs is also intertwined with the ongoing debate about the origin of birds. Some feathered dinosaurs, like Archaeopteryx, share characteristics with both dinosaurs and birds, blurring the line between the two groups. The identification of feathered dinosaurs that were not direct ancestors of birds raised questions about the mosaic evolution of avian features and how flight-related adaptations might have evolved independently in different dinosaur lineages. In summary, the exploration of feathered dinosaurs has evolved into a multi-dimensional saga, encompassing not only the presence and structure of feathers but also their colors, functions, and implications for the broader understanding of dinosaur biology and evolution. As new discoveries continue to emerge, the story of feathered dinosaurs remains one of the most dynamic and captivating narratives in the field of paleontology. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.